Tony, Tony Tone. That was a group from the 90s, but this isn't the 90s. This is the 2020s, and we're here to continue to mess stuff up in this Warzone tournament round three. How are you feeling today, buddy? Uh, I'm feeling good. Uh, I know I got a I got a tough opponent ahead of me, but you know, hey, you know, you, you don't get this far in a tournament without without uh, having to face some excellent players. So I'm looking forward to it and yep. uh, look, looking to have some fun. I mean, boat is as unsinkable as a boat can get, but sometimes even the most unsinkable boats have bad situations that can happen. And that's what we're hoping for today. Obviously, you know, it's going to be a tough task, but I think you're up for it. You're the sixth seed for a reason. You're here. Uh, you don't, we won't take anybody lightly, obviously, but they shouldn't take you lightly either. So I think just sure. play your game. We're here to, we're here to roll. Let's go. Fun. Let's rock. Hey. Hey. Uh, hey. We are one match away from you making your third semifinals appearance in a Warzone tournament. And that's really cool. Uh, look, that shows we have experience. That shows we're the veterans. And that shows that we're the best that play the game. You're the best that plays the game. Uh, and when it comes to Tony, I think we've proven when it comes to the Kingsman and Tony Durso, I don't think you think that you're the iceberg, buddy. You're not the iceberg to us. So, sorry. I like iceberg uh, lettuce. Sure. He, he, they, they were they were going on and on about, like, oh, he's a six seed for a reason. Just play your game. Your game involves extreme luck in playing people who are not that great. Uh, welcome to your first... Real match of the tournament starts now for you, and it ends here for you, for you too. So, man's make it man. Let's play. I'm in the mood for a salad. Welcome everybody back to Multiplex Movie War Zone. I am your host today, Pace and the Cinemaster Johnson, and today we have a great uh, round three match between Caleb, the little boat boatman, and Tony Durso. Uh, those were some fire set in the promos, as you can see. There's no one here, so I'm gonna keep it short. These are two great competitors. They both work hard. They both earn their places. So honestly, let's just get started. All right, everyone. Round one is going to work like this. Competitors will get eight questions from eight different categories worth one point apiece. They will have 15 seconds to write their answers on their board. And if they get all eight questions right, they will receive a bonus question. Competitors will have three repeats and one challenge throughout the duration of the match. Competitors, any question? Any questions? Nope. Nope. Question one, we'll be coming to you in the category of action adventure. Who plays Austin Travis, a lieutenant colonel who sacrifices himself to save his crew in executive decision? Uh, I know oftentimes I uh, make a lot of jokes, but uh, this time I want to focus on a lot of things, so I'm going to try to keep calm this time. Five, four, three... Two, one, uh, pens down. Tony, we're going to go to you. Kurt Russell. And Boatman? Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal is correct. Let me take the one point lead. Uh, your second question will become you in the category of horror. In Dr. Sleep, Rebecca Ferguson's character is identified by wearing what type of clothing item? Uh, I used to have a lot of sleeping issues when I was young, but then when I got to college, I was like, what if I stayed up real late and woke up real early? I would just fall asleep like a baby. Five, four, three, two, one. Boatman, we're going to go to you. They like my hunt. Uh, and Tony? Hat. Hat is correct. Uh, your third question will be coming to you in the category of Oscars. Name one of the directors who lost to Mike Nichols the year he won his Best Director Oscar. Uh, this guy's pretty cool, but I like his brother, uh, Mark Dimes. Dime, uh, smallest coin, probably my favorite coin. Five, four... Three, two. Can I get a repeat? Absolutely. That is Tony's first repeat. Name one of the directors who lost to Mike Nichols the year he won his Best Director Oscar. I will say, uh, 
There's a lot of talk about getting rid of uh, Michael Pennies. Doesn't really add much to society. I think it costs more to actually keep him around than than he puts out into the world. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm sorry, everyone. Tony, we're gonna go to you. I said David Lean. And we will go to Boatman. Norman Jewison. Norman Jewison is correct. Uh, we also would have accepted Arthur Penn, Stanley Kramer, or Richard Brooks. Uh, biopics is your next category. Which biopic ends at the premiere for the film Plan 9 from Outer Space? Man, I play trivia and I'm out of the loop. They made eight of these and I haven't heard of them. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. Five, four, three, two, one. Boat, we're going to go to you. Ed Wood. And we will go to Tony. Ed Wood. This is the one they'll remember me for. That is correct. He wasn't wrong. Yep. Uh, crime is your next category. Which 2000s crime film is about a Las Vegas performer who testifies against the mob only for the mob to issue a bounty on his head? If I were to go to Vegas, what would my act be? I think it'd be like, you name a year and I tell you the best picture winner. Doesn't seem very useful in this community, impressive in this community, but outside, you never know. Five. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, Tony, we'll go to you. I said seven psychopaths. We will go to Boatman. Smoking Aces. Smoking Aces is correct. Uh, drama will be your sixth category. Uh, name one of the two actors who play Sarah and Harold Cooper a married couple who everyone is staying with after the funeral proceedings in the big chill. Now, uh, you know this is me because uh, it's name blank. Just wanted to throw that out there. It's a little chilly over here. It's not, it's Arizona. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, Bowman, we will go to you. Kevin Klein. And we will go to Tony. I said William Hurt. Kevin Klein is one of the actors. We also would have accepted Glenn Close. I'll let you figure out who plays Sarah and Harold. All right. Uh, we will be moving on to the penultimate question in the category of romantic comedy. In Punch Drunk Love, Barry attempts to get free flight miles by buying a surplus of what food item? Uh, this film is, of course, a, uh, you know what, no, I, that, that just left me. I'm just going to quit while I'm ahead. Five, four, three, two, one, uh, pens down. To okay, uh, Tony, we will go to you. I said chocolate bars. We will go to Boatman. Pudding. Pudding is correct. Uh, so we're moving on to the final question. Uh, although if Bowman does get this correct, he does get a perfect round. Uh, category of movie release dates. Eraserhead, High Anxiety, and the original The Hills Have Eyes were released in what year? Uh, me and Boat are on the call, so a certain joke could be made about one of these movie titles. I'm not going to make it. Five, four, three, two, one. Boatman, we will go to you. 1977. And we will go to Tony. I said 76. 1977 is correct for the true perfect round. <laughs> All right, so Boatman, because you got the true perfect round, you do get a bonus question, so this will only be to you. Who directed Lars and the Real Girl? Craig Gillespie. 
for the true perfect round. All right, so coming out of round one, I have a score of Boatman to nine, Tony to two. But anything can happen as we get into round number two, also known as our wheel round. Each competitor will get a spin at the wheel and receive five questions in whatever category they land on. Answer it correctly, two points. Check down to multiple choice, one point. If they get the question wrong, their opponent has the chance to steal. Once a competitor spins a category, they will choose whether to keep it or spin again, but they must uh, keep whatever they land on in their second spin. Uh, your categories in the wheel tonight are DreamWorks Animation and Animation, which are Boatman Strengths. Uh, post-2000 films starring Amir Khan and post-2000 films directed by Pedro Almodovar, which are Tony's strengths, as well as romance, crime, 1990s, and horror, and of course, spinners and opponent's choice. Uh, Boatman, because you are in the lead, would you like to go first or defer? We will defer to Tony. Great job, buddy. All right, defer. In which case, uh, Tony, this is your spin. Shake it off, buddy. We, we're good. Good wheel spin. We're all right. You land on the 1990s. Would you like to keep it or spin again? Okay, so we need some points. Um, are you okay enough with the broadness of this category, or do you feel like you need to shoot for something? At this point, I say let's shoot for something. Shoot, so spin again? Yeah, let's okay. spin again. Spin again. All right, spinning again. You must keep whatever you land on here. The wheel really wants you to have 1990s. Fate, fate be damned. Uh, you got you got your repeats. Just uh, work smart. You're good. Yep. All right, Tony, I will be giving you your questions in the category of 1990s. Just let me scroll down to them. Okay. Tony, your first question. What 90s film has a cast that includes Keanu Reeves, Kate Beckinsale, and Emma Thompson? Five, four, three. Let me go multiple choice. Are right, your multiple choice options? Is it A, My Own Private Idaho, B, Much Ado About Nothing, C, The Devil's Advocate, or D, Bram Stoker's Dracula? Much Ado About Nothing. That is correct for one point. Your second question. In Run, Lola, Run, how does Lola make the money needed to pay off the mob boss in the final timeline? And we will accept a general answer. Let me go multiple choice. All right, multiple choice. Is it A, gambling, B, bank robbery, C, selling jewelry, or D, forging checks? Say forging checks. That is incorrect boat. A chance for a one-point steal. Is it A, gambling, B, bank robbery, C, selling jewelry, or D, forging checks? Gambling? That is correct for a one-point steal. Uh, your third question. How does Ray Fiennes' character die in The English Patient? Uh, from burn wounds. That is incorrect. Boatman, a chance for a two-point steal. I'm going to say heat stroke. That is also incorrect. We have drug overdose. All right, so your fourth question. <laughs> Who plays Lydia, the shy woman Perry has a crush on in The Fisher King? Take multiple choice. All right, your multiple choice. Is it A, Jennifer Jason Lee, B, Mercedes Rule, C, Rebecca De Mornay, or D, Amanda Plummer? Mercedes Rule. That is incorrect. Bowman, a chance for a one-point steal. Is it A, Jennifer Jason Lee? 
B, Mercedes Rule, C, Rebecca De Mornay, or D, Amanda Plummer? Amanda Plummer. That is correct for one point. And your final question in the category of 1990s. Which president does Anthony Hopkins play in Amistad? John Quincy Adams. That is correct for two points. All right, so after that round, I have Tony getting his score up to five, but Boatman was able to get some seals, getting his score up to 11. Uh, Boat, we are now moving to your spin. And you land on a romance. Would you like to keep that or spin again? I think we will spin again. Yeah. All right. Then you must keep whatever you land on here. Wow, this wheel really wants some people to have certain categories because you're sure. also stuck with romance. Use your, use your repeat. Use multiple. You're all right. Yep. All right, Boatman. Uh, your romance questions will once again be read by me. Your first question, what is the name of the book Jesse is on tour to promote in Before Sunset? Multiple choice. All right, your multiple choice options. Is it A, Before Sunrise, B, Two Short Hours, C, This Time, or D, We'll Meet Again? D. That is incorrect. Tony, a chance for a one-point steal. Is it A, Before Sunrise? B, two short hours, C, this time, or D, we'll meet again? I'm going to say bef uh, before sunrise. Okay. That is also incorrect. We were looking for C, this time. Your second question. What is the profession of the title character in Irma LaDuce? She's a prostitute. That is correct for two points. Your third question. In About Time, Tim and his father frequently play what game together? Ping pong. That is correct for two points. Uh, okay, yep. Who plays saloon owner Truvy Jones in Steel Magnolias? Can I get a clarification? Do you mean salon? Yes. Oh, my gosh. I will give you a free repeat. Who plays salon owner Truvy Jones in Steel Magnolias? I'm going to go multiple choice. All right. Multiple choice. Is it A, Sally Field, B, Julia Roberts, C, Olympia Dukakis, or D, Dolly Parton? Dolly Parton. That is correct for one point. All right, so here is the situation. Uh, Tony does have to get a steal in order to stay in the game. If he does not, then Boatman does win by knockout. Boatman, Feel free to make it interesting, Boatman. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> in Seeking a Friend for the End of the World... How is the world set to end? Multiple choice. All right, your multiple choice options. Is it A, disease outbreak, B, solar flare, C, Earth's core collapsing, or D, asteroid impact? D. And your winner, Caleb the Lil Boat Boatman. Uh, asteroid impact was the correct answer. <laughs> We will be moving on to post-match interviews, starting with our unfortunate second-place finisher tonight. Uh, Tony, uh, some matches just don't go your way. No matter how hard you prep, just sometimes the questions just don't just don't line up that way. How, how are you feeling? Well, that was easily the worst I have ever played, like without question. 
And it just like, so happened to coincide with Boatman being pretty much on fire the whole way. Yeah, um, uh, I was going to say, it, there, I mean, I played terribly <laughs> flat out. But uh, but uh, even so, I mean, congrats to Caleb. He, he played great. I mean, obviously, you know, when you – when he gets nine in the first round, and I mean it's an uphill battle, anyways. Mm-hmm. Me only getting a shitty ass two makes it even worse. So, but you know, it, it is what it is. I mean, I don't. You know, some it's okay. days it goes your way, some days it doesn't. But sorry, it's okay to be frustrated by this. Sometimes questions don't go in your wheelhouse. The good. The interesting thing about the match is that no strength categories. It was just uh, it was just the random categories. And uh, the 90s ones just weren't in your wheelhouse. That happened. I mean, 90s spans of 10 years. That's, I mean, that's thousands and thousands of movies. Yeah, so, there's there's a couple that I, I, I went back and forth on. At, like the uh, Amanda Plummer, I was like, I, I was like, yeah, it's either, I'm thinking either this one or that one. And sure enough, and... I was thinking 76 or 77 and I won 70, you know, it was just, you know, any way that it could go wrong, it went wrong. Yeah. No. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, this does unfortunately bring an end to your run in the tournament. You still have an incredible record. So we will absolutely be seeing you back by the end of the year. I am guessing um, I'm obviously I'm the showrunner, so I cannot 100% confirm, but when you do come back, is there anyone you would like to play? Uh. I'll play anyone. <laughs> I mean, that's typically uh, typically yeah, uh, so- my attitude. I'll play whoever, whenever. I feel I'll bad. Agree. I feel bad for whoever Tony plays next. Is what I'm thinking. I, I think he wants to chomp at the bit to to watch this out of his mouth for sure. Yeah, <laughs> always a great attitude to have. Well, Tony, it's always a pleasure to have you. But uh, we will be moving on to our first place finisher tonight. Uh, boat uh, one by knockout. Uh, you seem to be playing on fire tonight. Must be feeling pretty good. How are you feeling? I feel great. Uh, before I say anything else, I want to say I've seen Tony have great games. Tony's a fantastic player. I, you know, sometimes things just questions are out of your wheelhouse, and that is always bad. At the same time, I'm glad that it was a good game by me. Because, like, it's not like, oh, Tony had a bad game. I I feel glad that I also, like, played really well tonight. I feel like I've played better tonight than I have in a while. I just kind of feel on tonight. What? I said that's a monster game. Yeah, I I feel like I was just kind of on tonight. Uh, I was was nervous. Um, I... Studied a lot of the, Tony. Tony made me watch some movies that I didn't enjoy, but actually, mostly movies I was like wanting to watch and enjoyed watching. So I want to shout out Tony to that. Uh, if you haven't seen Pain and Glory, that movie rocks. Watch that one. I can back that up. That that movie's great. But uh, now that you are going on, uh, this does secure your place in the semifinals. So you will be playing uh, two uh, people. You will either be playing Cameron Holtzman or Cameron Redshaw. If you have the choice between Cameron and Cameron, who would you like to play? Cameron. Cameron. Uh, first of all, I want to. First Cameron. of all, before we answer this question entirely, uh, I do just want to thank Robert for enlightening us to how many years there are in a decade. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, secondly, uh, I want to say that it's nice to have the finals locked up. Uh, that no matter what, whether it is Boatman or a Cameron, uh, we will be in the finals once again. Uh, and that's very nice to nice to be able to say. So. I will say either way, it's going to be a rematch of a number one contenders match I played last year. Sure. Um, I I would love to play my teammate again. I feel like I you know that was an amazing match. I'd love to do that. I'd love to play Holtzman again. So either way, I'm rooting for Cameron. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, us this year rooting for Cameron at least going into that match. All right, but uh, thank you so much for coming tonight. Whew, that was a match. Uh, Boatman just, as you can see, just playing on absolute fire. Uh, we, everyone here has seen Tony play incredible. Uh, we all know this match does not reflect his knowledge. I think it just reflects when you go up against a player with the caliber of boat, you do need to bring 
your A game and Bo absolutely brought his A game tonight. But uh, with that being said, coming from me, coming from uh, Bowman, coming from Tony, coming from Robert, coming from Coho, coming from everyone at Multiplex Movie War Zone, I am Payson Johnson. Have a good night. Goodbye. Storm in the castle. Take it away. Take it away. Bye.